Hello and welcome to Polish Teach English channel. Here I show DIYs on how to create wonderful household items from fabric scraps. It's hard to live without work, but we're not afraid of difficulties. Again, mission impossible. How can you create something decent and interesting from this junk? Scraps of knitwear and cutouts. Moreover, I have a huge amount of red scraps, very little white, and there is also a motley dark blue and black. And what decent design can you come up with? But as they say, the harder it is, the more interesting it is to work. For sewing this rug, I used cutouts remnants from the factory after sewing t-shirts, dressing gowns, and children's knitwear. But in this technique, you can dispose of a wide variety of fabrics. It is advisable that they do not crumble. Old t-shirts are a great material. They must be cut out in any convenient way. In this sewing technique, it is best to remove all industrial seams from the patches. Pieces of fabric should be longer than 5 cm. You will determine the width of the pieces yourself. And I prepared the base. This is a dense, synthetic fabric. It does not stretch anywhere and its edges do not crumble. In my product, I will do without edge processing. But I will advise you, before starting to sew, process the edge immediately. For the convenience of work, we will start sewing from the middle. To do this, we will find the center of the workpiece and draw auxiliary lines. To keep the canvas flat, I'll use my homemade side table. I stretch the jersey trims a little so that they curl into a tube. Then I just fold these long strips so that these pieces are about 5 cm long and sew them on a sewing machine. I put the rags tightly. The appearance of the product will depend on this. I don't want the base to show through. I started sewing from the center. I still haven't really figured out how exactly it will look. The initial option was to lead the strips from the center. However, later I came up with this uh, other idea of a heart. When we sew the second row, we'll lift the strips of the previous row and bend them to the side so that they do not interfere and do not fall under the needle. It turns out this is so wonderful and fluffy. While I was sewing it, I decided to play a little with the shape. So we draw an outline of the part. We will fit it in. For contrast, we will wrap it around with pieces of white knit trim. We sew everything tightly. It turns out as a very interesting texture. After the white row, we sew the red row. Here I already have strips of knitwear in my work. I folded them in half and pulled them on and sewed them.
After this row, I switched to another color. Here, the jersey trims were slightly longer. I didn't cut them, I just rolled them up and stitched them. Have a look at the beautiful heart I got. I planned to make a rug out of it, so I could get up with bare feet in the morning. Well, in general, I got up and went to prepare a new masterclass. I hope you've liked the DIY and enjoy creating a piece in this technique for your family. My dear boys and girls, thank you so much for your support, for your attention, likes and comments. Thank you for sharing my videos on social networks and for sponsoring the channel. See you in the next episodes.